Hey guys, what's up? It's Quentin Drew here. So um, here's box number 19 of um, nickels and I would say some pennies. Um, not like a whole ton of pennies to be entirely honest. Um, just a, you know, just a handful. Um, see, the thing is with this box, um, I did this last week. Today's um, May the 3rd, 2015. Excuse me. Um, and um, basically, there were pennies in here, but the penny box I had asked for... I got home and I noticed they've all been searched. I figured, hey, why not? I'm gonna go through it a little bit, and because I figured they've already been searched for all the good things, um, you know, there's probably no wheat pennies. I was right. I went through about fifteen dollars worth of the twenty-five. I didn't want to go through the rest. I just didn't have any motivation to go through it. Um, but I did find some okay things, and um, the nickels I did fantastic on, and I did get two silvers, and we'll show that last. Um, my camera battery's dying. I got to pick up a new battery off of eBay because this battery lasts like 20 minutes since it's used. Um, but I'll, I'll, you know, do stuff with it um, sooner or later. I got to charge it. And I got a ton of coin store videos to make. Um, gosh, this stuff here is from like a month ago. And this is from two weeks ago. And then this is from, no, that's from three, two weeks ago. And then today. Um, I got some really, really fantastic finds in there. Um, so let's get started here, guys. Um, pennies, I got a 1983 um, brass plated scent. This was done by the Mint. Um, I don't know if you would consider it an era, but I don't know if you guys can see that color, but it's it's the brass plated one. Um, significantly different in color from the other one. I got an uncirculated 81. That was surprising to find in these search rolls. Uh, and then we got a nice uncirculated 1970s nickel. I think it's like a 75. Looks like someone spilled something on it, so I don't know if that's natural toning or not. Or no, that's that's a 75D. So of course it won't focus. And of course I dropped it. Um, sorry, I slid out my hand. 75D. And then we got a nicer looking uh, 57D here. Might be in the uncirculated uh, range. 50 small date, 60D9S, 70S, and 74S. Got most have not needed estimate marks. And I got this funny penny. Um, 1980, it's a 1980, it's a 2010 with like a dollar price tag on it, sticker on it. I thought that was funny. I'm gonna peel it off and see if there's any like weird like color on it. Um, just like weird luster patterns, that'd be funny. Or weird um, color patterns. Uh, moving over to nickels. Um, got a couple 39s. I uh, got this really nice 41D. This one might need to take a little bit of a bath in uh, Verticare um, once I get my hands on some sort of solution. Um, it's a solution that was uh, created by a member of the coin community forum. Um, it's about an $18 formula and it's completely natural for coins. It takes, you know, like corrosion off. But this thing is beautiful with this like goldish orange color to it. Um, by far one of the best 41Ds I've ever found coin we're hunting. And then we got a decent shape 1946, 46D, that I'm probably going to toss back. Um, that's a 47S, um, that's a 48D, decent shape, 52D, I need that for a roll, I'm waking, or, yeah, I'm waking, I'm making, um, and a 1958 plane, uh, decent date. Moving over to the nickels, uh, 2009, and... Um, let's get this focused up. Got a 2009D, very nice coin. Very happy to find a 2009. So um, I'm kind of short on time here since the battery's dying, and I'm not sure how long it's going to last, but we'll do it anyways. Um, one more routine. Uh, there we go. Uh, quite a bit of 2009 nickels um, adding up, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, then we got uh, my first 2015 nickel. I was really happy to find one. It's so weird because my first 2015 nickel, this one, is a Denver Mint. And I live on the uh, East Coast. Um, and it's really nice, this one. I was quite surprised by this one. Um, still haven't found a Philadelphia one. Um, I found a 2015 dime. And I found a uh, 2015 quarter that I spent in the pop machine at school. Um, only because it was a little bit rough. It was a home state quarter. I didn't keep it, but whatever. Um, not bad. Really happy to find a 2015. 
Uh, we did manage to score two silvers when I cashed in box number 18. Um, this is a 1957 Rosie. $125 worth of dimes, by the way, I did. 57 silver Rosie. Really happy. I don't have a 57. Um, I haven't found one at the least coin or hunting. And um, it's a uh, semi-decent 1963. Not in bad shape. And I was really happy to score this. Um, even though there was no silver nickels, I did manage to pull off not one, but two buffaloes. And I was really happy with these um, side by side ones. Um, but this one here, this one's a no date. Um, probably at teens. There might be a mint mark down there. I don't think so, though. I've taken a look at it. Probably isn't a mint mark down there. Whatever. Um, and then that was a partial date. It's a little bit scratched up in the obverse, but still a nice partial. 1925. Very nice coin. I probably like a VG. This is my third 1925 plane I've ever found, and they've all been partial dates, which is so weird, but hey, it is what it is. So, alright, guys, thanks guys for watching. I know, pretty quick video. Um, I will have these uh, coin sh store finds up. Uh, Sooner or later, I got like five videos I could upload, so it'll be day by day, and like I said guys, I'm uploading these at night, so um, make sure to tell your friends and buddies who watch my channel and other things like that, um, that I'm uploading at night from now on, and that I haven't stopped uploading. Um, I might make a couple more videos announcing this, and I might upload them during the day so people are aware, um, but lately I've noticed that my comments and my views have dropped a little bit. Um, and I'm sorry I'm not producing as much um, as I have been. I've just been, you know, really busy with school. And like I said, when this summer's uh, coming by, I should have my license and everything um, so I can go out detecting by myself and do other things like that. Um, and an update on that, um, I have everything I need for my license. My dad's just looking out for insurance companies that, you know, have cheaper insurance because... If we go with my insurance company and, you know, there's no other way to drop it or, you know, can't find any uh, other companies that have it cheaper because they price match, um, it's going to be like fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars $1,500 a year. And that's for 16-year-old males like myself um, because, you know, there's all those statistics saying that, you know, 16-year-old males are more liable to getting in the car accidents and all that stuff. Um, and, you know, they're more riskier and all that stuff. And that, you know, your insurance rates drop when you're 18 and 21. So, and, you know, they keep dropping and stuff. But, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Um, and, no, I, I try to stay the safest driver I possibly can. I always keep my distance from people. Um, I don't cut people off, no way. Um, I always make sure I'm, you know, making nice turns, gradual turns, um, not overly accelerating. Uh, I've never been pulled over, and my goal is to never be pulled over. Um, and I hope to never, you know, get a ticket or get in an accident. I mean, it, if I get in an accident, I really hope it's not my fault. Um, I try to avoid it as much as possible, but there's been a couple close calls, um, not on my part, but on the uh, opposing person's part. But, yeah, guys, so thanks, guys, for watching, and um, I hope I can get a new camera battery. If I can't, then, I mean, I should be able to, but it won't be for a little couple months or so. But, I mean, I'll still have videos out. Um, it's just kind of quick videos I hate to say but yeah guys thanks guys for watching happy hunting and I will see you guys later